Sea lions can be real competitors for people trying to fish. They do attack the fish when they're on the line sometime again, you know. Um, Got to roll with the punches. For Rudy Bass, who sells wild-caught salmon, they can be a danger to his livelihood. So a lot of the harvests that we're taking have a lot of sea lion bites on them, so so um, a lot of times people think that something's wrong with the fish because it's got to be go sea lion bite in there. What's that? Well, not the sea lion bite. They think it's maybe disease. U.S. Fish and Wildlife spokespeople say sea lions know exactly where to go for an easy meal. They hang out by the Bonneville Dam. Fish are spit out with little chance of getting away. Some studies show the amount of fish being eaten by sea lions has multiplied five times in the last four years. Current efforts to protect the fish include chasing the sea lions away and lethal removal after a several step process, which includes identifying the specific animal, proving it's been at the dam for five days, and catching it in the act of eating a fish near the dam. It's not working. I mean, I think this is a great example. It's not working. We're reaching um, the, prob the probability that some runs are going be to become extinct. Representative Jamie Herrera Butler says that process is too long. Her new piece of legislation would streamline the process and allow trained tribal managers to kill and remove sea lions near the Bonneville Dam. The reality is this is not a healthy ecosystem. There are too many sea lions and they're, they're literally taking out an endangered salmon and steelhead population. Another effort to protect native fish began yesterday. The state of Oregon won a legal battle requiring eight dams in the northwest to increase their water spill. That will make it safer for fish to travel through. Back to you. Thank you, Brian. No more 